Hey folks, Positive Paul, and I wanted to share some thoughts. Uh, let me check the lighting real quick. I, I gotta go back to the makeup room. Uh, yeah. Come on folks, lighten up. Here, I'm gonna be objective again, just, just to show you what a nice guy I can be. One of the signposts concerning end time prophecy, biblical prophecy being played out in, in the physical realm is there's going to be widespread persecution of Christians. Now, in order for that to have happened, another signpost, which is actually uh, the very first one, or at least in my opinion, is that the message of the gospel of Christ has reached out far and wide through all parts of the globe. And we were told the Israelites were scattered to the four winds. And also, the description of that, uh, the spirit of Israel is, is all over the globe. And one of the ways that we know that that has occurred, or, or we, we've got to be darn close, is in certain parts of the world we know, look, there's just open public displays of persecution towards Christians. And there's actually laws put in place in some of these countries. Now, whether or not we can truly use that example to define that, yes, the, the gospel has been, been everywhere. So now we're, we're past that signpost. And we go wow. on to the next, next one, which is going to come the widespread persecution, meaning spilling over into the United States, unfortunately. Now, this is the unbelievable part for most of you good folk out there in America, that the question becomes, and look, again, I'm going, I'm going to go back to the context of the targeting, and this is the question. Is your targeting on what, you know, let's take the chunk of time again from 2000 to right now, this very day, January 24th, 2020, at 12.45 p.m., is your targeting, does it boil down to your beliefs, your beliefs, your religious beliefs? And again, you don't need to go to a church. It's about a personal relationship in Christ. And you know where you're at concerning that walk and where you need to be. So this is what I, I would hope for the people that are on the fence about the importance that if you're claiming to be a targeted individual, all right, it, look, at this point, you people might as well go to Vegas and just bet on the roulette wheel because that's what you're doing right now. The sp spiritual realm is a control of the physical realm. And when we look at Galatians, where Paul said that if a man think himself to be something when he's nothing, then he deceiveth himself. So the question is, do you attribute your targeting as an effect of this end time scenario concerning widespread persecution of Christians throughout the world. And this could be anybody, you know, I, look, I'm in Mexico and these are God fearing people, good people, but they've been following Catholicism. And this is one of my, my pet peeves. If, if the church is functioning like it should, it should definitely incorporate the fact about this, these biblical, uh, you know, Old Testament prophets and what their prophecies were. And then if, if, if they've taken place or they're, you know, going to occur and, and we don't see that happening. Now, again, if we can get through to those people, because you, you, you're looking at a large population of the world, specifically the Jehovah's and, and, and the Catholics, you know, that could be upwards to 2 billion people now out of 7 plus. So, without trying to get lost in all this, all right, you're targeting. We're being led to believe in a post 9-11 world that it's necessary that the, these homeland security, no good nicks, these fusion centers need to be up and running and functioning and big brothering 
every American's move. And if you're being stalked and harassed, it has something to do with that. But again, we, folks, we got to start defining, you know, who and why you're being targeted. Because I just, I hear a bunch of vague testimonies and people are just, they're buying into the claptrap of trying to document these gang stalkers, the, the vehicle, all, and this stuff does take place, it, trust me, but is it really in, in, in your head sometimes? Yes. And if you watch these YouTube videos enough and you're following the wrong people, garbage in, garbage out. So back to the widespread persecution of Christianity. What was MK Ultra really all about? It, did it have n absolutely nothing to do with the Abrahamic bloodline? Mind control? Did it have absolutely nothing to do with genetic manipulation? The hybrid breeding program? That, you know, <laughs> look, we can only let our imaginations run wild. But, but here's the thing, folks, again, If we're to understand that we've gotten past some of these little benchmarks concerning end time prophecy and we're at a standstill and we know this peace plan, it, it, it's got to pop soon. It has to occur because look, the God of this world, Yahweh and Satan, who, who knows, the, it could all be being the same, right? Clearly, they can only take this so far. Now, uh, me personally, I've been documenting all these strange anomalies flying around me. There is no doubt I was exposed to MK Ultra. And again, you know, look, we don't have to get bogged down in, in the bloodline thing. Or, or the blood type it, it's it what it comes down to is the original DNA blueprint and understanding what makes these these people tick Elohim's people and it had gotten to the to the point where these monsters were confident enough after World War two after they wrecked everything that they could pull the biggest deception known to humanity, the great deception. Now that's another signpost. Are we smack dab in the middle of this great deception, folks? Are all of us just a bunch of crackpots who are running around with our, 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 our phones and tablets and it, it, it really, it, I tell you, it, it, it seems to me that, I mean, it's fantastic that we got YouTube, I guess, and, and look, bitch it, all right, I, I've noticed that either they're coming out of Europe or who knows, Israel for all we know, but when you upload a video, the date timestamp is for the following day. So that tells you that it's either England, Europe, or, or Israel, one of those three probably. And if we're just to continue making these videos, and the, the, hope, the hope is, that what, what, what we, we become to understand that, yes, we want to give encouragement. You, you can go through each day with these reptoids, running, running amok, creating mischief, getting in your way for the very reason that what? Of your Christian beliefs? Or do you have like some uncle that you didn't know about that's tied into the whole uh, military industrial satanic complex and he controls your bloodline and you're just a pawn in all this but actually you might even have the goods meaning the right genes in order for these no good neck reptoids to want to experiment on you right because that's what everybody says oh i'm being the directed energy and again with you people with these emf broadcasts now look and now see again i'm getting worked up but quit these applications don't do anything you're wasting your time it takes sensitive equipment to detect this electro 
magnetic uh, uh, energy. And if you think an app on your phone, it, look, okay, someone proved me wrong. Do, do a video and show me how these applications can pick up electromagnetic energy when it's on your phone. You have to have sense, if there's sensitive instrumentation in this equipment. And it's not gonna, you're not gonna just, you know, please stop. And this RM supercomputer, too. Now I'm, now I'm getting off track. And this is why I said these videos go sideways. But again, here's my question, folks Are we in the phase of widespread persecution of Christians in America? which is causing this targeting, which people are trying to say goes back to Homeland Security, Fusion Centers, Patriot Act, 9-11, terrorist, terrorist, here, terrorist, there, young shooter there, these shootings. You know, hey, I'm in Mexico. I guess, you know what, the Mexicans are smart because there's really, I mean, yeah, there's guns here. But look, all you Americans, you think, oh yeah, I got my uh, 45 in my, uh, under my, my bed, hiding under my bed, that, that somehow that's gonna save you when the tribulation hits. And again, you're gonna forget about race, creed, and color. You're gonna find a way to work together. So, anywho, I'm gonna cut this short now. And I love you all. God bless America, and God bless Mother Earth. May we live to see peace and be friends once again.